Welcome to Saturday Morning Tutorials! Ooh, ho, 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 spaceship, that's nice. That's nice, how does this, how does this all work? Welcome aboard, pro user Adrian Jensen to the USS Space Crate. Thank you, I feel welcome. Who are you? Who is this? I am your onboard navigations and controls assistant. K-A-3-1-X-7 underscore final draft underscore V-8. Uh, is it chill if I just call you Shippy? Confirmed. You may now address me as Shippy. I'm in love with you. I I don't know how to fly a spaceship. What I really need is a, uh, like a video tutorial, maybe, or like, maybe a helpful co-pilot. Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. No, that's not, that's not what I meant. That's funny though. Cause you, but could you add that to my queue? Cause, uh, I haven't seen that one yet. Adding to your queue. Really, uh, you know, Shippy, I just need to get home. Uh, I just want to get to Production Crate Secret Headquarters. Can you just help me out with that? Estimated arrival time, four Earth weeks. Four, what am I supposed to do for four weeks? No, 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 this, is, this sounds like it's going to be a really boring month. Uh, could you, like, cryogenically freeze me or something? The USS Space Crate is equipped with cryo-freeze capabilities for our travelers. However, I only suggest it for journeys lasting years, if not decades. Cryo-freeze may cause irreversible damage to your biological structure. Shippy, shippy, shippy. I've been doing nothing but causing irreversible biological damage for my entire life. I'm cool with it. Let's freeze. Come on, make with the make with the chili. Confirm. Cryo freeze initiated. I hope you have emptied your bowels. You'll be unable to for the duration of this journey. Uh, hold up. All right, commence the freeze, and let's go home. <laughs> We always want to work on outer space projects. The Marvel films have been creating some fantastic scenes in movies such as uh, Infinity War, Thor Ragnarok. What else, Adrian? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, my dude. Oh yeah, of course. Video Copilot also released an awesome and free plug-in orb. This is great for creating planets and, you know, orbs. <laughs> Get out of here, you. <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> Graphics Crate also released tons of space content like these nebulae and these planet textures. It's safe to say that the planets were lined and this was a good time to make Stop. a space Stop. tutorial. Adrian, you're gonna have to take this seriously. Come on, man. So we shot this on a green screen, as you probably could tell. To make it easier to interact with the ship we built, sort of a half set, I think we have a short educational video clip about that. Who that? Who? Oh sh! Come on in. My name is Adrian. That's my boy Chris Kelly. Feels so smooth to make peanut butter jelly. The effects so good, it's outrageous. And the rhymes are sick, but they're probably not contagious. I really hit your post, but I'm the host with the most. I can break out a move and then fix it in post. When my comp gets messy with all them layers, I just kick back because I'm an OG crater. We got this sweet console here with these blinking lights. We had to dismantle the light stick to make that work. It's a stick of lights. We got this. Oh, man, chair here. Wicka, 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 wicka. We got a stick. I got my two biggest fans. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Right here, oh, this is where the magic happens. Right here, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Wait, where am I? What's going on? Oh, yeah. This is where the magic happens. Right here. This is where... Hey, why are you still here? You've seen it. Get you out. know what our spaceship get looks out like. Of here. Get out of here. Come on. Y'all need to get. Get. Move. Y'all need on. to get. It's in our time. We gotta work. Come back anytime. Yeah. You know, if we're gonna release a space theme tutorial this week, it would be really weird if we didn't mention Andrew Kramer's new free plugin, VC Orb. It is a very good plugin. We didn't have any advance notice that this was coming out or anything like that, but we were ready for it since we recently launched our new site, Graphics Crate. Navigate to the set extensions section and from there to the space subsection and click planet textures. You will be greeted with a bunch of thumbnails of planets. These are just examples of what the textures might potentially look 
look like when you turn them into planets. But since you do have the freedom to mess around and be creative, you might end up with something totally different. Totally. We're gonna select this reddish Mars looking one right in the middle here, which just so happens to be called Desert Planet 2. Let's download both of those textures and bring them into our After Effects project. Add a new solid and apply the orb effect and it will give us a cute little sphere. Aw. Yeah. Twirl down the mapping section and add the Desert Planet 2 texture into the diffuse slot. By default, the plugin is going to map it as if the texture is a spherical projection, which ours is, so we are good to go. Let's add a parallel light to simulate the sun. This is outer space, so you can make it any color you want. And now, if we move this light backwards, we're gonna get this super nice planetary shadow. It looks great. It looks pretty good. <laughs> there is a glossiness channel. We can just use our height map for that, and we'll just mess around with it. There's no right answer here. We just want to make it look like the surface has some variation to it. You'd probably want a separate gloss map if your planet has oceans like planet Earth, but this is a dry planet, so the height map will do the job for us. For the bump channel, use the height map as well, and this is going to give us that little bit of extra detail that we need to make it look like this is not just a smooth ball, but we do want to turn it down. Keeping the detail subtle will give us the illusion of scale, and planets are big. Hmm. To add just a little more life to this planet, we'll add an atmosphere glow. To do that, we're just gonna use the illumination control. Beautiful. Thank you. Quick sidebar, if we had selected one of the lava planet textures from Graphics Crate, we would have a separate illumination map, which is very cool, but our dry desert planet doesn't glow. Let's turn up that illumination, which is going to make our planet all white at first. We can change it to another color, which in this case should probably be a pale orange. We'll turn up the Fresnel all the way, which will push the glow to the edges and if we turn up the shadow light bias control, it will remove this glow from our shadowy side. And if we start moving the sunlight back and forth, we can really see that in action. Now that we got that happy little planet, we need to give him a happy little home. Uh -huh. On graphics crate, let's head back to the space section and click the stellar objects. Hey, those objects are stellar. They are. Heal, you'll be greeted with a bunch of new nebula assets. What's up? Nebula assets here. Greetings. They're pretty cool. You're killing it right Thanks, now. Thanks, dude. We're gonna select a few with colors that complement each other and down load them. This time we're gonna go with a blue, turquoise, purple color scheme. Although these orange and green ones are actually my favorites. Yeah, I dig those. In After Effects, you can get a better look at the detail of these nebula effects. They are really quite beautiful. Oh, they are. For a background, it would be best to keep these subtle, so we're gonna set them all to an added transfer mode, but turn the opacity way down. We're gonna start moving and scaling them around in our shot. When you allow two of these assets to cross over each other just a little bit, you can really get some gorgeous detail out of these. On Footage Crate, there's also a clip called Twinkle Star Loop. How that clip's tileable and loopable. If you don't want your stars to twinkle, you can just freeze frame it. Yes, yeah, right. Our intro shot was just a combination of these techniques. For the 3D spaceship, you can download that link in the description. The USS Space Crate is free for ev free for everyone. Free for everyone. One wow. nation under crate. <laughs> <laughs> From there, you can import it directly into Element 3D and all the textures and everything should load up automatically. If you're putting this thing in space, which is where it belongs, you're gonna wanna use a parallel light with shadows turned on to get some high key lighting. You can also use Cinema 4D light if you don't have Element. Either will work, but we used Element for our short. This shot here, we're calling it the Slipstream shot, is just clips from footage crates stacked up. We have the Twinkly Star, some Nebula, and the Slipstream asset itself. And of course, the Element 3D USS Space Crate ship. There's also these re-entry assets we can attach to the ship to make it look like it's hitting tiny bits of space debris, space dust, or whatever. We comped all that together and added a wiggle expression on the position to get some extra camera shake to make the shot a little more chaotic. Light speed shot is also a clip from Footage Crate. We just added some nebula to it to make it match our other shots. We also have a new script. Find that in the description. We're calling it Chromatic Aberrator. This can be added to any of the space shots to make them a little bit cooler. There's a lot of modes to choose from. I like the lens mode personally. This script is for pro users only, but pro memberships are extremely affordable. Go upgrade today and be a happier person. <laughs> we are using a lot of pre-made assets here, but they're very easy to customize to create a unique look for your project. Be creative. We'd love to see what you create, so send them our way. Yeah, I want to I wanna see your space. Yeah. And that's all. Next week, we're going to be taking a little break because we have a 
very cool project collaboration in the mix. And the Saturday morning tutorials will be back the week after with the fourth most requested effect ever. You want to tell them what it is, Adrian? No, uh, you can't. No, no I don't out. think I do. Oh, you I want don't to be think a surprise? I say. Yeah, keep it on the DL. All right. You want to wrap us out? Yeah. Um, Play eat that. your vegetables, call your mom. Oh, that's not what I Make it awesome. All. What do you. Wrap us out. Play the rap song. Oh, okay. My name is Adrian Yim. That's my boy Chris Kelly. Chris Kelly. so smooth to make peanut butter jelly. The effect's so good, it's outrageous. And the rhymes are sick, but they're probably not contagious. I really hate to post, but I'm the host with the most. I can break out a move and then fix it in post. When my comp gets messy with all them layers, I just kick back because I'm an OG crater.